Fresh from the showcase at Swiss Watch Expo, I'm Michael, and I've had a few Panerai submersibles. It's one of my favorite watches, but this one might take the cake as the best one yet. Stay tuned. Today we're profiling the PAM 1223. This is the 2021 release for the submersible line. It's a 42 millimeter and it's the Bianco. It's the true white dial. And it's interesting, there aren't a lot of white dial dive watches out there, but uh, the Omega Seamaster is an obvious exception. They did white really well, but I love what uh, Panerai has done here with white. It's hard to do a good white dive watch but this can really change up your collection. If you've got a lot of black dial watches and you're looking for something different, this could really be the right one. It's a 42 millimeter submersible case, which really, let's just be honest about it, the 42 millimeter does wear better day to day than the 44, even though in my heart, I love the 44 millimeter. This truly is a better size for most people's wrist than the 44 is. It's not real thick, it's just under 14 millimeters. And when you look at this case, it's really beautiful. This is the 1950 inspired case. So it has a bit of curve to it that's not like the straight cases that came before. And I love the brushing on it. It just has such a, a soft, supple look to it, even though it's a real heavy duty tool watch. And when you look at this, it is all satin. It, it is, there's not a lot of high polish anywhere, just right along the edge of the bezel. And that's the only bit of high polish you get. So it's gonna wear really well. It's not gonna show a lot of scratches or anything like that. It's really a great daily wear. Of course, you have the patented Panerai crown guard here, which is really great because it does protect the crown more than just uh, shoulders would. It also has, of course, the Panerai patented lever that holds the crown in. It makes it very hard to forget that it's out and get your watch wet, but it also, uh, accesses the ability to wind and set the watch without unscrewing the thread. So this was a, a, a feature that Panerai really came out with as a result of realizing that it was a lot of wear on say their counterparts at Rolex to thread the crown onto the tube every time that you wanted to access winding or setting the watch. So it's very practical, but it's also that iconic look. The bezel itself, uh, it's a really heavy duty, really nice feeling bezel. Uh, when you turn it, it's only one click per minute. It's a 60 click bezel. And it gives it just a really great tactile, heavy duty feel when you, when you turn it. Looking at the dial, of course you can see the hands are outlined in black and then they're filled with loom. So are the dot markers on the dial. They're outlined in black and filled with loom. And the loom is super bright on these watches. It glows green everywhere except the minute hand and the pip on the die on the bezel, those glow blue because that's your reference points. If you're actually doing any kind of diving, if you need to track the minutes in a low light situation, that's the one you want to pay attention to. But all of the rest is fully loomed, even the seconds hand at nine o'clock. Uh, when you look at this watch, it is a true dive watch. It's water resistant to 300 meters, about a thousand feet. It has a screw on back, no exhibition case back here. Of course, you have the the logo with the two divers that are uh, riding this little submersible submarine that the uh, watch takes its name from. That thing was nicknamed the pig. And uh, you actually, uh, if you were one of the unfortunate guys who got to ride that thing, uh, hopefully your Panerai was gonna keep you in check. One of the coolest things about this watch is the strap release system. You can see there's a little button right there on the back side of the lug. And the watch comes with a tool that you depress that with and it makes the spring bar come out and you're able to switch back and forth with the straps. Uh, it does come with not only this rubber strap with a brushed steel tang buckle, but also this one that's sort of a uh, canvasy. And of course the Panaristi love changing straps and putting lots of different designs and colors on their watches with white. You could put absolutely anything on this watch that you want and it makes it super easy to change it with the tools that are provided. Of course, a sapphire crystal, uh, automatic winding movement. It's a P900 that's from the, uh, the Richemont uh, Val Fleurier uh, movement manufacturer. 
and it's an automatic winding watch with 72 hours of power reserve. It's going to be a great, reliable watch. It's not nearly as expensive as some of the other Panerais in the catalog. And yet, I think it could be one of the best all-around watches. Give us a call here at Swiss Watch Expo. Let us know what you think. We'll be happy to throw it on the wrist and show it to you on a FaceTime call. We'll show you our store and our service center, and we'll be happy to get this watch shipped out to you.